It's 6 p.m. Do you know where your artists are? Yeah, I said that. So, you guys, I am on the phone again. Jeff is over yonder doing airbrushy things. Thursday. I hope it's awesome. Can y'all hear me okay? Huh? It is Thursday. One more day till Friday. We, every day, every day in our world is either, it's both Friday and Monday, every day. So, today I'm going to add some little extra extraness to our this it is the geo that we did the other day with alcohol inks resin and glass and bubble beads I love how it turned out I do have one error over here there's a little raw spot where the resin broke but we're just gonna we'll add something there to make it make sense I'm going to use possibly some of this foil. I got it on Amazon. If you want to know about where I got this from, click the link in the description box below this video. And it'll take you to our Amazon shop where we sell. Nope, we don't sell it, but it's there. All of the things that we don't have in our shop. I haven't used this stuff in a while. I don't know if it still works. Can you guys see on it the, a little bit of, where are you? Where am I? It's like a little bit of a, um, like an oil slick look to it. Maybe not. A little bit. It'll make more sense once it's on here. One day closer to the weekend, right? Use it on a flower pot. Sounds awesome. Hey, hi, how are you? Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. I'm Erica. Jeff's over there. And we're artists till death. We paint pretty much every day on this channel for you guys. Usually at 6 p.m., except for on Tuesdays. It's 2 p.m., always central. We're trying to grow our channel, so if you could... Leave us your thumbs, leave a comment, and share our videos with people you like, and maybe even people you don't like. Who knows? The haters. The haters. The haters. She's engaged. Don't tell anybody. Bing, 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 bing. Two days till fire sales. True. Special guest. Also true. Can't wait till you guys are here. Really? She never mentioned it. Exactly. So, I'm going to try to use this sticky pen from Deco Foil. It's called an adhesive pen, but sticky pen sounds more fun. We're going to see if that works. If not, we have our good old backup, the bottle with the lady, 
aka Speedball Mona Lisa. The bottle with the lady. I can never remember. Listen, don't judge me. Also, I'm going to be adding some variegated gold leaf, which is gold leaf that looks like this. <gasps> no! If you have never worked with gold leaf, it is not the easiest to work with. It's very light, finicky, and temperamental. So let's get started. I can't remember which side of this stuff I put down, so I'm going to do a roadside test real quick. Right, Kim. You have the sticky pen? This is great, great stuff. Good catch. I think so. I don't think I'm gonna put the um I don't think I'm going to put it all the way around. I'm going to do it in parts, kind of like how the glass is like here and here, but not all the way around. But, okay. I thought I had lost where my sticky is, but I thought I, I definitely did lose it. So it doesn't take long for that sticky pen to set up enough. For this to uh, pull the foil off of the backing. I'm just adding a little bit of pressure You can, I don't know if you can see it. Where it's come off. You can kind of see through it there. Maybe this is better. Judy! Anyways, it's working, it's coming off. But I'm going to get y'all's opinion in a second. We're going to go partially all the way around. See what it looks like. See if we like it. And we'll take it from there. Too much pressure, but you have to put a little bit of pressure. I'm trying to move my face around to see if I've got, like, if it's working, if it's sticking without doing a full Ritterhoff. Yes, we love her. If you haven't checked her channel out, do it, especially if you like acrylic for art. I think I let that dry too much. Too much jibber jabbing. So let's just go over it. And now we're going to see what it looks like. I'm going to show you guys up close and then we're going to take it from there. You gotta love a good sticky pen. So what did you guys create today? Tell me all about it. I need to know. Oh my goodness, I 
forgotten which end is the sticky end. I got it. Got it. Everybody calm down. Got it. The TG, she's also going to be on full house hunt while she's down here. So it's not going to be all fun and games for Vamp. do have to use a little bit more pressure than I initially thought. Your butt left a depression on the couch. That's, that's impressive. I saw that commission you did, Bam. Very nice. Oh, you're jealous she's moving to Funsville? That. All right, let's see if you guys can see what I just did. I can kind of barely see it. Okay. You know what? That's not Let's just bring you guys down here. All right. So the line is right here. Turn the light on. It's very faint, but you can see it when it's under a light. And I kind of like how subtle it is. But what do you guys think? Like, it doesn't even look like there's really anything there until, bam. What do y'all think? Proceed with it or no? No. I am going to, even if we decide not to proceed all the way around, um, put little bits just to finish the thought process with the green one. You like the subtle look? It's cool. You okay? <laughs> look how he just sits there all cute. I want to see what I'm looking at right now. Mr. Beans over here. Wondering why he's not over here. Look. I'm not opposed to doing a chameleon either because I feel like that would make sense with, with the color palette and whatnot. Okay. Apparently I'm being summoned. player. Thank you for the reminder. Thumbs up, people. Thumbs, thumbs. Do what, B? All right, let me 
gonna go get some chameleons. BRB. This one is green, silver, and rose. Chameleon Flake from Color Obsession. Thank you, JJ. Hi, Dancing with Aardvark. Still love the name. All right, so let's do this one. Lisa, we just started. Look how fun those are. Sippy, sippy to all you adults out there. Tink. All right, this sticky pen doesn't take long to get tacky. Just going to brush on some of these flakes. Just work my way around. As you work this color on, you're going to build up a little bit of um, static electricity. So the, the flakes are gonna stick to your brush, which is a good thing and a bad thing. Oh, that looks so fun. Love me some chameleons. Give me two seconds and I'll show you guys what um, this awesomeness looks like up close. I'm gonna go ahead and shut that lid so I don't um, sneeze and waste a whole bunch of products. It's been known to happen. I'm trying to brush everything into literally any area so it's not just sticking out sticking to the geode in areas I don't want it. Definitely don't do this till after your resin piece is cured for a little bit. Because if your resin piece is tacky at all, the chameleon flakes are going to stick to those areas, not just where you have your sticky pen. Since I have the light on it, on my phone, the chameleon's only gonna shine one color, even though IRL it's many different colors. So once, um, once we get this video done, I'll post a true color video in somewhere in our Facebook group, or just till death.com. Nope, ATD's poor people. Where do you think we should put the next line? I love sticky pens, but boy. 
they dry out, set up, whatever, super quick. Hi, Betty, Melissa, Sue, Kim. Where should we put the next line? Maybe coming off the blue. That's what I was thinking too in between the dark and the light purple because there's already such a definite line in between the light purple and the blue that maybe back here would be better. Great minds. Try to remember where I stopped. It's already tacky enough. See what do you think about my this. having buffering issues my feed is showing okay bit rate but so what was the question I think she put rainbow alcohol ink in it oh yeah I did I put marabou rainbow It's crazy how the uh, chameleons kind of look different depending on what color is under them. So this is very orange, but this line looks very purple, which is why I like the translucent holographic chameleons the best. Cause you can, they're so versatile. Finish this line. No buffering. Cool. Not yet. Sadly, that's accurate. Golden? So I'm trying to think of what my next art piece should be. What do you guys think my next big art piece should be? Glad you guys had the idea of doing um, chameleons on this. I think it's very nice, subtle, 
awesome look. Which is another reason why I love arting with you guys. You always give me the greatest feedback and ideas. wooden sticks. I'm confused. Let's knock off some of this excess. I always use a big Kind of stiffer bristled soft brush to get the excess off. Because you want it to be a sturdy enough brush to make a difference, but you don't want it to scratch in case your sticky isn't set up yet. And also they're cheap. Cheap's always good. You know, I don't know why I keep bringing it up like you guys can see what goes on. Subtle purple goodness. Well now it looks purple on here too, but IRL, it looks pink right here. What do you guys think? Should I add gold leaf? Or is it too soft for gold leaf? Hey. Y'all don't want me to bake a cake. They are not my type of science. Turtle pool. Can you use the lady in the bottle stuff if you don't have a sticky pen with the color shift? Absolutely, Lisa. If I end up doing gold leaf on my glass, I'm gonna use the lady in the bottle because it's essentially the same thing. Vamp. Don't get crazy. A blue or a purple dragon. Oh wait, that should be clear. Well, she's coming up here. So one vote for no gold. Bacon mirror glaze. I did that and it is not as fun as it should be. All right. Bottle with the lady. Uh -huh. Ew. I need a stirrer upper. Okay, don't. 
dokey. All right, so I think I'm gonna do a line of this green jasper, Kelly green chameleon. It's got a blue green look to it. I can use my messy technique for what? The baking a cake? Y'all just want me to set my house on fire. Okay, I'm using the bottle with the lady and a paintbrush. I don't even see him. Oh. What am I asking you? Lay down. So that I can draw a thinner line. It takes a little bit of time for this stuff to kind of set up enough. Yeah. It's got to dry a little bit before you can use it. Or put sticky on it. Nope. Before you can put... Um, whatever flake you're going to use. Maybe it's ready already. Let's just see. What does abalone do? I thought it was making tiny sparkle. Abalone is tiny sparkles. And typically mix it into resin. Great. I think it's just set enough for me to dust this chameleon on. You don't want to put the chameleon or gold leaf or whatever on too soon because if you do it's not going to be sticky yet and you could smear your line if it's not ready. Gotcha gingerms. And that is exactly right. I'm thinking that as well, Sue. I think you and I are very much on the same like brain frequencies right now. But I wanted to see how dark this was before I tried to put it in and around the the, uh, the glass. The main difficulty with working with the any tacky, whether it's with a sticky pen or the bottle with a lady, is that sometimes you can't really tell where you put it. So I have a double line in some areas, but we're going to make that a choice and roll with it. Anytime something happens that mm, I wouldn't have done, 
typically, but it's doing it anyways. I just decided to call it a choice. Hi, Bowie. It's not your part of the show yet. I know, you're precious, but... I know. I know. I'm just gonna have to wipe this off with a rag after it sets up. I don't want to apply too much pressure right now since the, the tacky is still fresh. From henceforth, I will call anything, whether it's the sticky pen or the bottle with the lady, the tacky. Just cause. liking the look of it. And I don't mind the double lines either. The outlying shimmer right here is the chameleon that I just haven't dusted off yet. So it'll stand out a little bit more. once we fully dust off. Just because I have gold leaf over here does not mean that you can come over here. Today's episode is entitled Cujo's Got Warrants. I don't think he has, like, not any outstanding. I think I took care of all of those outstanding situations. All right, we're going to use the paintbrush again to draw a thin line. The thinner you put this stuff on, the better. The less time it's going to take for it to dry. The better. Yeah, I think I got it all. So for this, we're going to use purple, gold, green, chameleon by Color Obsession. Absolutely, I take care of Cujo's warrants. This 
tongue doesn't blend out as seamlessly as I would like. Proud about that. But it'll still look awesome nonetheless. And we're going to dust our way around just like we did on the other ones. Girl Cat is over here just eyeballing what I'm doing. Probably just waiting on an opportunity for me to just walk away so she can come over here and get fabulous with all the sparkles and gold leaf. Most cats are very attracted to catnip, mice, empty boxes. Ours are addicted and attracted to gold leaf. an actual situation. <laughs> I don't want to know. Cat used to steal your chair. Girl Cat still steals Jeff's chair. She's sitting right in front of me. I know, she's waiting. She's laying in wait so that she can come steal all the shiny things. Notice how it's Girl Cat that's very into the shiny things, not so much Boy Cat. It's funny you say that, I just started this. All right, so we're going to do uh, a line with Midnight Mermaid. It is a beautiful, dark, blue, purple, pink, everything amazing. I think we're going to put this one... Just inside the blue. My goodness, I have lost my line. Found it. I'm like, I'm just not going to blink and I'll never lose my line. That is not at all how it goes, though.
this stuff is like it was made to do this. Don't do a girl cat. wants to be in the shiny stuff so bad. I didn't think I could love this piece any more than I did, but y'all loving it. So like we mentioned a second ago, I think I'm going to put some leafing in the glass, but just barely. I'm just gonna put it on like one side of the glass. Very loose. And if that looks good, then I'll do this one. Your cat likes to head bunt. Is there such thing as a chameleon pen? Um, I wouldn't be surprised if one comes out soon. Oh my goodness. Lisa says, do you remember, um, she said girl cat had that look of, um, do you remember yesterday when you shut me in the closet for like um an hour <laughs> thanks now she wasn't looking at me like that she is now Jeff's cooking dinner. Ooh, uh, y'all. That looks super fun. Very grotto. Let me show you what that looks like. Well, let's dust it off a little bit. Looks kind of dirty right now. Apologies, apologies, apologies. down. You're a good boy, okay? Go lay down. Okay, that won't work. It almost looks like bismuth. I'm trying to get a good angle. There we go. Definitely gonna have to put that on the other. Let's just bring you guys down here. Exactly, Linda. Oh, 
Um, Betty, you could add a top coat of resin. I'm not going to because I have all this little glass everywhere and I worry it'll get lost. Since this isn't a functional piece, I'm not really concerned about Hi, big boy. Look at this. Looks like bismuth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> He's looking at me like, what are you getting my face for? Mm hmm. Oh, dude. So yeah, if this is a functional piece, I would recommend doing a clear top coat, but since it's not, it's just wall art, um, I'm not gonna bother with it. See that? Hey all, hey all, hey all, hey all, hey all. What it is. You broke your ankle. I'm sorry. Hope it's nothing too like invasive and they can fix it relatively not easy, but you know what I mean. Hope it's not gonna be like a big rehab situation. Sitch. No, she's gone full moo. I have been researching how to make bismuth because that is not easy ask. But now I'm like, why do I need to learn how to make bismuth? I can just use chameleons. What is it? What's up, Emma? TG, when did you break yours? I hope you have a quick recovery because it sounds very painful.
I'm just adding a little bit of the adhesive glue in just areas that I want to add this bismuthy look. Girl cat, don't even. Thanks, gingerms. Could I do similar to what you've done and cover with resin to make a table? And how deep you could totally do it i wouldn't do the glass inlay though because it's not going to really show um but yeah or is that the part you're talking about wanting to do on a table I think I just needed to let this bit dry a little bit. So that's what we're gonna do. Bismuth is delicate. You could make it with resin mold and camellias and it would be cool. Concur. So the thing about glass is if you have just clear glass like this, like notice right here, it's almost like disappeared in some areas. So if you were to like essentially cast a bunch of it in resin, it would completely disappear. So I would advise against essentially doing a river table, putting glass in it and then clear glass and then uh, filling with resin because it's just gonna it'll all just disappear and kind of be a waste of your materials I'm just trying to dry this glue a little bit get this process moving a little bit Can't remember where all I put the glue, so we're just gonna dust some of our chameleons all up in and around everything. I make sure I don't forget anything, pass over anything. Love how that looks. I wonder if I could use a sticky pen. Genius. Mike Reed. Bye, TG. Yeah, if she colored the glass first, it would look fine. Um, I don't sell the pens, but you can get them from any craft store and also Amazon. I'm pretty sure I have it linked in our description box below this video. 
We just click on the Amazon link. P.S. Amazon Prime Days are coming up. Would really appreciate it if you guys used our link to get to Amazon before going hog wild and buying all of your Amazon Prime Day stuff. It would help our channel out a whole, whole bunch. extra extra <gasps> I know Bowie Bowie's playing with boy cat I'm just gonna turn this on just the air if you guys do this trick to help dust everything off. Make sure you've already closed your jars of mica or flakes or whatever. Because if you don't, you will cry yourself to sleep and probably have chameleon in your eye. take some alcohol and maybe not. Are we out of alcohol? Not a lot. Not even any. Well then oh. so out. We no. We just hand me that squirt bottle. We need to get some of them though. I'm just putting a little bit of alcohol down and wiping off in between my lines. Cujo? Hey, Cujo. Is he over the, is he in the kitchen? Yeah. Well, then he wants some jerky. I'm just gonna get these big fingerprint size bits real quick. And then um, I'm gonna show you what it looks like and we'll decide if we need to add more or more or not more, but maybe more, who knows. See, when you're done with that, will you do me a favor? Never mind, he's right here. I thought he was in the kitchen. We do. Go lay down. Be careful not to go over the areas that you want to keep the chameleon when you wipe off with alcohol because if it doesn't take it off completely it's going to dull it. So just be advised. Loving it. transferred chameleon to that little area. Alright, now I'm going to show you guys up close what we look like. What's up, Tudor? If you found 
resin with different reflective index to glass, it shouldn't disappear, maybe. Possibly? So yeah. Oh goodness. Check out our not bismuth bismuth. Let me turn the flash off. That might be what the issue is. Then we got our greens, our purples, our pinks, our more purples. Loving it. Jeff mentioned that he thinks like a white line, but I think that it might. Not that kind. Be distracting, I feel, because this is subtle in my head. This chameleons are subtle in my head. I'm waiting for a drive by. Midnight Mermaid can't even mess with it. Can't even mess with it. All of these chameleons can be found on our website, artistilldeath.com. Look at that fun variation where it's like different color flecks in there. I'm loving it. So, yeah. Right on my chameleon would be perfect. So, you guys think I should uh, change anything? I think I'm good with how it looks. Only thing I would possibly consider is adding chameleon to the glass in these areas. But, um... Maybe not. I I think I like I think I like it um, with the dark areas just on the outside bits. Um, the flakes mixed in resin I wouldn't do unless you want the. It looks like glitter. It's not soluble in resin. Um, so it's not soluble, so it would look like a whole bunch of this in resin. I would just use the powder version of chameleons as opposed to the flakes, because they're essentially the same color. I accidentally crossed over in some areas, but I'm digging it. can't wait to see how subtle the wedding is. That's fair. I'm digging it. I'm loving it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it wasn't too groundbreaking, but I enjoyed it. I hope you did too. And, um, Looks a little lacking in the center. Okay. I was going to say bye. so fun it's kind of lacking yeah and this is my bismuth edge mm, bismuth. bismuth i think i'm gonna that's my <laughs> 
Um, I'm gonna go get a different color. Can we go yellow? People of YouTube land. What's happening? What's the good word? So I'm gonna use a combination of purple, brown, blue wine and sunburst. made it better and I didn't think it was possible. No, probably won't be muted wedding colors. You never know, except for probably not. Cujo, calm down. Everyone says hi, Jeff. Hello. Uh, Sue says hoping, hoping to get Moon Lady finished this weekend, Jeff. Kujo, calm down. So I'm just adding some sticky. Just regular sticky. Kujo, that's enough. I gave him a treat. Did you cut it up? Yeah, a little bit. Like a little bitty one. Like a little no, he probably already ate it. Relax, Moose. Gonna add a little sticky in some places. Cujo. Anytime Cujo goes really fast in any direction, it's suspect. Like, where do you have to be? Why are you in a hurry? He's going full zooming. Go, go get him. Y'all, it's so cute. Can you hear those little feet running around? Bowie and Jeff are playing. Just working it in, just working it in. Lost a couple bubble beads. Guess my chop it in is getting a little aggressive. Whoops. Oh, 
Chloe is being hella extra. Thanks, you guys. Boy cat. That is not a scratch and post. I shouldn't have dusted this off so soon. can see what we're working with. Loving it. B, we're loving it. Loving it. All right, let me take you guys down, show you one more time. Yeah, I like the darker center as well. So now it has that goldy, yellowy, purpley center. Still need to clean it up a little bit. Still kind of sloppy out here, but I will take care of that. Digging it. I hope you guys are too. Thank you so much for watching, seeing what we're up to today. We love you guys so, so much. Make sure to leave us your thumbs, subscribe. I think he knows it's so, so much. It's so, so much, you think? Uh, well. Hi, big boy. Okay. Um, something. Make sure to like, subscribe, ring the bell so you get notifications sometimes. And yeah, be kind to one another. You never know what someone's going through. So you don't have to. I just got knee checked by a puppy. I know it. I know. Oh, wow. You say bye? Okay, okay. That's enough. Thank you. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. I said bye.